Greetings everyone, let's go for the final battle of this Best Out of 3 series. Game 3 ace match of this series held at DreamHack Summer 2011. Players tied 1-1, it's time to bring your A game to the table. Whoever wins this final battle here will take the final victory on the series. So it's time to step it up one notch and do the best you can to crush your opponent. And, um, whoa, I was talking but uh, something smells fishy here. Uh oh 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 July Zerg is not making any workers any drones and he's going for the six pool this is gonna be so nasty July Zerg is really aggressive and he's just committed to this big all-out bonkers aggression on the early stages of the game against his opponent spawning on this nine o'clock position it's Mouse Hasu also known as Hasu Hobbs Protoss player from Germany, a very solid one, but boy, easy in for a surprise. I still can't believe that Jelizerg on the third game, the ace match, where everything will be decided, he's gonna take the chance of going for six pool. Also on a map as big as this one, meaning that the rush distance won't be the shortest ever, he's gonna have um, a just the courage to decide to go six pool anyway and I'm pretty sure he's confident on his plan he knows that he's probably gonna arrive there in time to just break into that mineral line and start gnawing and chewing onto his opponent's uh, mineral line and base but for now July just grabbing an extractor I think he's gonna do the extractor trick to get a couple more zerglings out there it is a pack of eight zerglings getting ready to come out with uh, the first batch just released six zerglings pursuing that probe probe needs to run away I don't think the Zerglings will be able to reach it and they're going to be heading to that 9 o'clock position they're going to try to apply the pressure on Asu Hobbs before Asu Hobbs is able to stabilize any kind of defense the answer by Asu Hobbs he is clearly on clutch mode is at the moment he's getting a solid wall with two gateways here and just make it as strong as possible before the Zerglings arrive so he can just contain the aggression while he gets some workers out and also some zealots I would say for now the first gateway getting that zealot out He's trying to chrono boost it as fast as possible and the Zerglings just arrived here and are starting to apply the pressure. Meanwhile, there's a probe. Oh, nice around with that probe there. While we witness those... Um those Zerglings trying to chew down and with their fangs just gnaw at that gateway trying to put it down and the second gateway just got cancelled by uh, Asu Hobbs this is a risky bold maneuver by Asu he just allowed a lot of Zerglings to enter his main base and they're gonna be able to have a feast on that mineral line a single Zealot tried to defend but he needs to have proper positioning the micro is really important now because if he gets surrounded this is gonna be so so messy meanwhile we do see more and more Zerglings arriving here onto the main door of Asu Hobbs try to chew down onto this um, onto this gateway try to finish it off before he puts more units out a single zealot pops out of that gateway instantly surrounded and killed there's still another zealot the first one that came out trying to defend and boom there goes the gateway pop goes the weasel with all of those zerglings able to enter the base once more the cyber core was finished but I mean cyber core with no gateways this is not going to be of any use Asu Hobbs needs to get more production buildings out and rolling also needs to make a very solid and powerful defense there needs to stabilize that main door or else he's gonna have this Zerglings roaming around this base for eternity that's not good you can follow on the picture and picture screen the amount of Zerglings there just going back and forth and trying to chew down onto this uh, door already destroyed once again that um, that gateway that was being established and wasn't even finished built and now more and more Zerglings entering the base from Asu Hobbs trying to surround that probe count there's not much of a defense a single Zealot is trying to defend already with six kills but I mean July Zerg has been wreaking so much havoc onto the base of Asu Hobbs there's not much left of this base it's the third time that Asu Hobbs insists on trying to land that uh, um, that gateway on the um, entrance on the ramp but I mean there's always more and more Zerglings showing up here and trying to poke at it as you can see just the HP and the shields keep going down and down and I'm wondering how much longer will this one hold for now we do have Asu Hobbs with what's left the remaining units trying to defend this one is gonna get destroyed as well and now we have Zerlings once more by July Zerg focusing the fire on this pylon yes pylon destroyed there's a second one with Asu Hobbs getting supply locked this is so troublesome he's not gonna be able to put out more units for now there's a gateway producing a zealot but he needs more pylons he needs the supply and meanwhile we have all of these Zerglings going back and forth inside the base of Asu Hobbs with July Zerg sending and streaming more and more of those Zerglings forcing Asu Hobbs to micro like a beast 
but also obviously July Zerg is not a stranger to microing, he knows what he's doing, he has some brilliant playstyle and he's trying to bring as much units as possible to finish off with a killing blow, this uh, movement by Asu Hobbs, this strategy, nice pile and destruction, once again just powering down all the forces here, all the production facilities by Asu Hobbs, with Asu Hobbs trying to get a second gateway and all of the forces, so many Zerglings inside his base, forcing Asu Hobbs to interrupt his production so many times. Notice that meanwhile July Zerg was able to get a queen out and also produce some drones so meaning that he's been working quite a lot on his um on his macro on the back try to at least have a way of transitioning from this aggression if things don't go exactly as expected and there it is oh nice cornering here but asu hobbs just try to deny the surrounding or to those zerglings try to corner all of his units here but i mean there's not much left from the forces of asu hobbs and he's trying to resist but there's so many zerglings roaming around that there's not much left for asu hobbs to defend let's take a look at the workers killed 18 workers killed july zerg just completely wrecking the plans from uh, asu hobbs with so many units inside his base look at this look at the economy you'll notice obviously that uh, Asu Hobbs is completely halted he doesn't have anything any probe working he's trying to defend using them because well basically there's not much left of an army for him with only three workers against 18 no income whatsoever trying to chrono boost some probes out of that nexus but I mean it feels a bit useless at the moment and two zealots trying to contain the aggression but now with Asu Hobbs just going for the GG well played he didn't have enough, he lost so much, he was aware of the fact that even if he was able to finish off these three Zerglings on July Zerg's base, as you can see, there was already a Queen and I did saw him making a big row of uh, uh, drones, at least six drones in a row, meaning that he was trying to stabilize his economy in case he would need to transition. But well, it wasn't the case, it wasn't necessary, he just applied so much pressure onto Asu Hobb, wreaked so much havoc, was such mayhem inside Asu Hobb's base that, uh, well, he wasn't able to resist and force him to GG. So, um, July Zerg winning this 2-1 with a 6 pool. Impressive by July. Uh, also, uh, a brilliant feat and a brilliant demonstration of microing by both players. Well, Asu Hobbs is not a stranger to microing as well. He comes from Warcraft 3, but July is just brilliant, was able to just be able to keep going back and forth with these units attacking on the right moments and the right buildings and units all the way through the game to the point of breaking Asu Hobbs in the middle and snap his nerd neck exactly what he did so now with this result he just the outcome would have to be that Asu Hobbs would be forced to <laughs> exactly and game done series done hope you guys enjoyed this one see y'all later